LeBron James warms up during the All-Star Game, image, Getty, Boston Celtics hero Paul and NBA legend Piers believes the Los Angeles Lakers should have curtailed LeBron James's public criticism of his teammates, LeBron is right in everything he says when he criticizes his teammates. But if I was the Lakers, I would have shut LeBron down, Pierce said during an appearance on ESPN. Seriously, he's getting older, he has to do too much for them to win. He puts out a triple-double and they can't win. Just imagine if he really goes out and really exerts himself and has to go for 40. This season was a wash coming into if they weren't contending from the jump. Nobody considered this team as a contender as constructed, they were like, this is the first year LeBron's here, we're gonna develop the young guys, maybe put a trade package, then if we get Anthony Davis or another guy then we can contend, everybody knew this first year was a wash. Everybody knew that. Everybody I know said a great year for the Lakers was second round, why am I going to be put more wear and tear on LeBron? I need him for three more years. His window is short to take advantage of LeBron. To me, he's pretty much still injured, LeBron James should have been shut down by the Los Angeles Lakers, Paul Pierce believes, image, Getty, if I was the Lakers, I would have shut LeBron down, Paul Pierce James is at risk of having Lakers fans turn against him if he continues publicly lambasting the team, Sports Illustrated's Andrew Sharp believes, well, let me ask you something because, I'm curious, at what point do we see Lakers fans begin to turn on LeBron and we see a Kobe fan uprising, he asked, because I think he's gotten the benefit of the doubt from the majority of Lakers fans throughout this season. LeBron James is risking a fan revolt with his public criticism of his teammates, it's been claimed, image, Getty, and it speaks to the thirst that that fan base has had for any kind of relevance, and they were willing to overlook a lot of shortcomings with LeBron, or at least potential downsides that came with this era. Even back in the preseason LeBron came out and said I don't have to prove anything to these guys. I'm LeBron James, I wonder how long that is going to last because at some point people are going to turn around, and I think it started this weekend, where he questioned whether basketball was the first priority in the lives of guys like Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram and the rest of that team, which goes without saying you can ask the same about LeBron. So that's what I'm watching for over the next two months. I don't really see this Lakers team making the playoffs, but I'm more curious about how that plays around LA. LeBron James hails Rajon Rondo Bryn James and Rajan Rondo celebrate image, Getty. James has heaped praise on Rajan Rondo for his performance against the New Orleans Pelicans on Wednesday night. First of all, his mind is incredible, his high IQ. The four-time MVP winner said of 33-year-old Rondo, when you add him to the starting lineup it just helps everybody out with his rebounding and his ability to get guys off the whole game. He had 16 assists it was huge for us. Huge for us all night.